Angie Machado, BeaverBlitz.com, joined with right tackle Dustin Santon. And Dustin, when you were walking over here, I, I mentioned that you got you O linemen are getting huge. <laughs> How much have you put on this this off season? Uh, you know, about about 20 pounds okay. um, since spring, about 15. 11 to 15 um but you know still still making gains we still got a ways to go um but yeah we're getting there but but you're looking like an alignment now you're not looking like a tight end move to yeah. offensive lineman you are looking is that um just different um you know different strategies in the weight room or food all the above uh yeah just hard work everywhere uh training table um stacy obviously doing a great job new training staff um in the weight room excellent guys um just hard work, you know, um, putting everything you can into, into everything you do. Um, and, and it means it means in the weight room, um, numbers are going up there, obviously. And, um, you know, taking the right supplements, listening to Coach Simon and his staff. Um, they know so much uh, about everything, really. Um, and then Stacy up at, at uh, our cafe there mm -hmm. in that valley. Um, you know, she's, we got the best people here. And um, so, yeah, just, just working in everything. Um, uh, a lot of a lot of good healthy portions. Um, at the Lots of greens. Table. Yeah, good, okay. good, okay. good amount of greens. But uh, you know, um, probably the least amount on my plate okay. is the greens, but okay. it's still a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and uh, eating just all the time. You know, okay. uh, goals pretty much to be full all day okay. and night. And that's uh, probably hard, being that you're working so hard too. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, probably the hardest part of my day <laughs> is eating, but uh, it's worth it, you know? And uh, I just love working. Um, this whole process for me has been uh, a challenge and I love challenges. And uh, you know, and I just wanna, this is the best move. This was the best move for uh, for the team. And uh, you know, I wanna, wanna help out any way I can. And, and uh, you know now I, I'm just you know trying to be the best I can at this and best best in our lead in our conference. So, how about the coaching change with uh, Coach Woods? Awesome, the whole staff, um, just amazing. Um, and that says a lot because you guys all loved the last staff too. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. and you know uh, we the whole team. Obviously, you guys have heard this before, and we, we bought in completely. Everyone, everyone on this team has bought in, um, and it's just it's gone uh, so well. You know, and uh, the, the coaches know what they're talking about, obviously, um, and different mindset. Uh, you know, you can't you can't lose. It's not it's not okay to lose, mm -hmm. and uh, that runs through our veins now on this team. So uh, we're not going to lose. <laughs> How um, you know, I mean, you guys are the deepest. You know, you and the wide receivers are the deepest area of the offense. Mm -hmm. How good is it a to have Isaac back, and then how about these young guys that are coming up? Mm -hmm. The young guys here uh, are working their butts off, mm -hmm. doing a great job. Mm -hmm. So eager to learn, get in there. Um, you know, we got size. So yeah, so I've noticed. Good. I mean, you know, Trent Moore, who was one of the you know skinniest guys really when he came in. I just saw you working with him, and mm -hmm. he he looks a lot bigger as well. Yeah, he's he's been doing a great job putting on the muscle the the, white, the right way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the weight. But uh, these young freshmen that are coming in, uh, just an outstanding job. You know, since they've been here through the summer in all aspects, mm -hmm. academics. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, you know Isaac, having Isaac here is awesome. Um, you know I don't, I don't think he's he's lost a step, um, which is very impressive. And uh, you know he's he's uh, he's been taking some some reps next to me, which is nice. You know it's it's cool to have him right there with me. So um, it's been good, and uh, you know I think he's feeling great. So it's really good. It's good to see him out here, and and he's uh, such a hard worker. So does it make any difference? You know, there's three quarterbacks right now vying for the position. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have? Does, does it change up what you do depending on who the quarterback is or is it just seamless whatever whoever it is it doesn't matter yep whoever it is doesn't matter same mm -hmm. scheme um and you know I, those guys really when it comes down to it, i think are very similar um you know they're all athletes um they're all really smart you know and, and uh the leadership is just coming right along good. um but so it's good and uh you know we're pretty comfortable with all three of them in there as, as the the starting five here and um, you know, we feel good about it. You know, whoever whoever's back there, we're gonna, they're our buddies. We're gonna protect them. Um, we're gonna open holes for them. So it's, it doesn't really matter. And uh, very similar quarterbacks. And um, you know, we want we want to just do what we can for them. So uh, nobody's giving you guys any any credit this no. off season. Does that fuel you? Do you care? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keep it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, best position to be in for us you know yeah i mean you guys have really have the chance to kind of be spoilers all year long yeah yeah i think we're gonna upset a lot of people um you know i know i know as a as an old line group we're pissed off about it mm -hmm. um and you know we're ready to prove everyone wrong um and that just fuels the fire so we're, we're ready to get after it 
Beaver fans, we've watched him grow a lot here. Dustin Stanton, offensive tackle. Stay tuned to Beaver Blitz for all the latest here from fall camp.